our ceramic breathing pan is ready. We put butter and marinated meat is ready. And we're inviting. It actually cooks in its own oil. Looking good. Looks yummy. Okay, everything is almost done. and I'm done cooking. Mm. Hello, I'm back. I call this segment Quarantine Moments with Jenny G. Okay, so our topic is what are your realizations out of this quarantine? So what do you think while you're on lockdown? For me, um, my realization number one is really the importance of your loved ones, your family. This is the moment that you really value, you know, um, each member of the family your children, your husband, I mean your parents, but even though they're far away from you and and other members of the family, um, you check them all the time, if they're safe, if they're okay, and I mean you can't help it but to worry, really worry. Um, second, um, my realization is that um, everything, we go back to basics, essentials that we need is just basically food, shelter and family all right that's all you need you don't need anything more because you can't do anything no activity or whatsoever you can't go out so that's all you need okay and you're alive and you're thankful when you have that and of course sa panahon ngayon alcohol na lang atong kalipay okay see i got more i got more and more all right so and we have lots more downstairs. Everything else outside the world important anymore. They are not functional anymore. They are not. You, you can't use them anymore. For example, um, it's, we're already on the second month of our lockdown. By next week, it'll be May. So, like the schools right now, the schools are very, very important and they are necessary education is really important but because of covid because of this situation kids might not go to school anymore and because of this problem okay other parents they might not send the little ones to school just to avoid this virus like the little ones who are school ready that they're planning supposedly they're gonna be in school this coming school year and it'll be postponed when you have that it'll be um, headache right so what else the cars okay the luxury cars that you have there in your garage I mean they're not that important anymore you don't get to use them um, they're just staying in the garage because eventually you have no events okay so you, you just use them when you need to buy groceries or just one member of the family can go out so how was it you know 
it's no use okay but home or real estate is very very important what I'm saying is we realize to those people who have no homes who didn't buy houses all right so now you know how important houses are how important your home can be so think about it uh, if you need to buy house a lot then you can call me all right I'm ready to help you we have reservations online don't hesitate to contact me when you were in the province uh, like the things that you used to play you have that kind of moment you become emotional sometimes you become sentimental you become you know you think about what you've been through your story when you were young when you were a kid um, the things that happened to you and what have you achieved like me my story is Pang MMK it's a long long dramatic story okay I come from the province the little city called Pagadian City in Mindanao okay when I was about four years old so I was living with my aunt and luckily my aunt was um, was a teacher and she's a disciplinarian with my uncle and my cousins and I learned so many things there and I learned discipline every everything the study habits um, eating habits that I also learned to eat whatever is on the table you have no choice no restaurants okay everything is homemade my aunt was a teacher and she's my guardian because uh, my mom is in Australia and uh, yeah eventually I became really really smart thanks to my aunt and yeah I was the first honor from the grade all throughout elementary and among all the days uh, where you used to so it's really really um, good that you know you, you get to appreciate them and you have that moment as soon as I graduated elementary I came here in Cebu City and ta -da, I got into a very high standard school took the examinations of a very very big and famous school and imagine I'm just this little pea coming from that little province but you know what okay I got in to this university so I was a um, first year high school student until I finished um, my fourth year high school okay and then I proceed my college to University of San Jose Ricoleta so yeah I feel good about myself okay thank God that I have very <sighs> so I thank God that I am well guided <clears throat> imagine I'm just coming from a province from Mindanao from wasn't even a city before it was just a little town you know so um, I got into this very big and very famous school and then um, yeah I'm very I'm very lucky I feel very lucky it's my story and then anyway going back to our main topic is that um realizations okay another realization is that Okay, uh, you get to remember those games that you used to play uh, with your neighbors, with your cousins, friends. Seems like you are doing the same thing where you have that kind of feel. Those who are in relationships, um, that LDR is real. Okay, so to those who have, who have no husbands or no partners Ugh. this is the time that you have to love yourself first it's like soul searching okay, you have so many days to think about what you want okay easy easy to those who are in a relationship think about the person if he is the one for you is he for long term okay think about uh, when you age okay when you reach that stage um, is he the man is he the woman that you think you can be with when you get old all right so think about it people change people change all right 
they are not what you think they are and people change because of the people around them because of time so many factors okay but yes people change and I'm not sure if you will like or you will love that change sometimes okay not all change is good okay something come bad something could become better so you just realize so many things and there's also things that you regret in doing so think um, really hard if that's what you want in life and that's it alright so thanks for staying with me till next